So you want to make a Facebook cover, maybe a Twitter header, maybe a website header or a YouTube channel art. Now what's common in all of those? The common thing among all of those is that all of them are extremely wide. But the images that you my friend might want to put might not be that wide. They, they might be just into 3 is to 2 ratio or maybe 16 is to 9 ratio not more than that. What do you do? Let me illustrate. For example, I have this image and I want to add a little bit of text to the right of her. So let's try to add some text. Hello. Okay. This is name. So I, I just wrote anything so it doesn't matter. So if I try to make it big or something, even if that's just hello, it's going to stick to the walls. It's going to hit the wall. I don't want that. So what do I have to do about it? So I can always go ahead and crop it out, right? But I don't want to crop it out. I don't want to crop it out and make the text smaller. So what do I do with it? How do I extend the image? How do I extend the background? Hey there, this is Mission. Today is an extremely special day because today I'm going to trust you with a little secret that I've been using to cheat for a lot many years. Coming up. So the intro's over. Let's jump straight into Photoshop. So I have imported this image, the link to which I'll post in the description below so that you can work on it. So the first step to extending this image is to select the crop tools. To select the crop tool, simply press C or click in this. So when you select the crop tool, this kind of framey little things appear at the side of the image. So all you have to do, you have to extend it to the place, to the point where you think it should be extended. Okay, so I think this is a nice place to be. Press enter. Now what do we have to do? We have to extend the background of the image. So how do we do that? See that's where the cheat kicks in. So let's zoom it up a little bit and select the rectangular marquee tool and select a part of the background, a slice of the background. Can you guess where I'm going with this? Okay, let's come back. Let's select the part of the background and then all you have to do, you have to press Ctrl and J. If you're using a Mac, press Command and J and this portion will be copied into another layer. Then simply select the selection tool Okay, this is the selection move tool. Okay, select the move tool and move it to the right. Now you might be saying, so this is not matching. The sky is not matching so, and, and this is kind of weird. This is looking weird right here. So all you can do is press Control T. Okay, right click. If you're using a Mac, Command T, right click, flip, hurry, sound flow and press enter. Bingo! This creates a mirror image of the background. So we will do this time and again until the background is full. So let's do that again. Let's copy this layer. So this time we don't, we don't have to make a selection. We just have to make sure that this layer is selected and then press Command and J and then drag this to the place where it pops in and Control T right click and flip horizontal. Let's do that again. Copy, pops in, Control T, right click, flip horizontal. Now you might be thinking that if someone looks at it carefully, he'll see a certain repetition time and again, right? We can fake that too. <laughs> what we can do is, let's create a merged layer of all these layers. To do that, press Control, Alt, Shift and E. If you're using a Mac, it's Command, Option, Shift and E. So once you do that, let's fake it a little bit. So we don't want this to, to be repeated here. So what do we do? Simply select the spot healing tool, right click, select the spot healing tool, make the brush a little bit smaller, okay? And simply paint over this. Boom, gone, gone. And suppose you don't want this to be there, select the patch tool, this kind of area to be here. So select the patch tool, make a selection, move it to this place, boom, gone. Suppose you don't want this building to be repeated again, select this, drag it to the position that you like, where it's matching a little bit, click OK, boom, gone. And if you think this is a mirror image, 
let's re also remove this select the patch tool let's also remove this one with something interesting right something interesting I'm looking for something which is good looking yeah boom and it's gone and when you zoom out nobody's going to tell that the background is a little bit copied especially uh, when you put text here nobody's going to look what's in the background they're just going to see color so let, uh, so let's try to add some text in the background so to add text just simply select the text and what season it is summer collection let's summer let's change the font I don't like this let's change it to Cezanne now this is some cool font let's make it a little bit bigger and we'll rotate it a little bit right and let's uh, select one more text let's type collection okay let's make it a little bit bigger okay but the text isn't quite visible right so the text isn't quite visible and we need to make the summer a little bit smaller though so to make the text more appealing and visible what we would do is let's make a solid layer so select the layer which is the merged layer and above above that merged layer but beneath the text above the merged layer beneath the text let's make a solid color layer so solid color let's make it black now nothing is visible but Decrease the opacity. Yeah, it's visible right now. So let's decrease the opacity, opacity to say, my, what happened to my tongue? Let's say 50. Now summer is visible, right? So we can, we can make a group of the text. Select both the text layers and press Control G, right? Make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, now it's looking awesome. Now, what happened is, when I made the background black, the girl also turned black. No racism intended. So, the, so the, the whole of the background turned black. So I want to enhance the face a little bit. So I don't want uh, the black color in the background. Let's turn this off and let me show you. So I don't want this a little bit black transparent color to affect her face. What would I do? Select the mask that's accompanying the solid color layer and select the brush. Make sure white color is selected. Decrease the flow to say around 20 and make the brush a little bit softer again as a reminder to make the brush softer press and hold alt and drag the brush upward to make it softer drag it down to make it hard so make it as soft as you can and then simply paint over the faces that are shine paint over the areas of the faces that are shining right we would do that okay 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 make sure black is selected and let's paint over the faces uh, areas of the faces that are already shining or some body parts select a little bit of ear and I think we are good to go let's zoom it out and let's see how it looks and this looks magnificent looks like she's popping out of the image right so guys that was my secret to extend images don't share it with anyone actually share it so that's all for today hope you enjoyed the tutorial for more secrets and tips and tricks keep watching it's imperfect and i'll see you guys in my next video till then happy photoshopping and stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe